Hi guys, Dan here from Trojan Art Painting. Okay, picking up where we left off in the last video. See, we got a nice gray prime. Next, we'll apply Army Painter Spray. It's a desert yellow followed from above by demonic yellow to give it a nice golden look, golden yellow look. Uh, I'm washing it here with uh, Agrax Earthshade. The look I'm going for here is uh, not metallic and not skin, kind of somewhere in between would be taken either way really. That's how the figure sculpted. It's metal plates, but then it has uh, muscle definition. So I didn't really want to go one way or the other. So I tried to reach a happy medium here by going kind of a weathered dark bronze look. Okay, after the uh, wash dry, you can see now I'm, I'm using a foundry uh, ochre 4B. So you can see kind of a dullish yellow color to do a, a dry brush over the wash. And over that layer of dry brush, I'm putting a second layer on, which will be, a, it's just a Vallejo Ivory, kind of mixed in with yellow and then a really, really lightly uh, dry brushed over it to give it just a little bit of highlight. Really wanted to keep the effect subdued though. You can see the ivory on the base of my thumb there. All right, after that dry brush, just give it a, another real thin down wash, uh, oil wash. This is a burnt sienna oil, uh, thinned with white spirit. Kind of blend everything back in together. Now I'm just using uh taking the uh, base and putting a couple of chunks of hydrocal on there for ground effect. Then using uh, uh, green stuff, spreading it around. This is going to be just a simple uh, grass base. All right, then I position him and go ahead and stick him down and glue him, glue him in place. It's looking like a uh, like I want him to look. I want him to look like he's leaning forward, charging with that big rail in his hands. Okay, then just giving a quick coat of uh, Vallejo chocolate brown to the base. This is just going to be the first coat because I know there's going to be touch-ups that's going to have to be done. But I just want to get the first coat on there and let it start drying. Of course, the bottom of his foot is going to be the same color as uh, the same color as the uh, ground. Of course, so put the first layer of chocolate brown on there. There's what he's looking like so far. 
Now I'm just painting the wooden pieces around the bottom of his legs. Just using the Bleo leather brown. I wanted to get it and then I washed it with the Acrex Earth Shade and then I uh, give it a and then uh, giving it a dry brush of uh, uh, Leo dark sand and then uh, ivory, even lighter on the top to make the grains in the wood stand out. I didn't want to overdo the weathering on the wooden part, so this is pretty much all I did to, to the wood. I wanted to leave the, the grains showing because I thought they'd look neat. Here's the, uh, looks like the, uh, the inlet valve for his air inlet there going into his furnace. And I did the rest of his body, uh, I mean the rest of the metal work around his head and a uh, little black layer of the natural steel. And painted the uh, where the front the, the holes and the pipes and in his body. I just used Vallejo flat red and then uh, a Citadel wild, wild Rider red. And then on the furnace itself, I put a little flash gets yellow as well to show the flames. <laughs> 